What's up everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. I'm Aiden, if you guys are new here, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe down below. But let's just hop right into it. I haven't posted in a while, I think it's been like six months. Got a bunch of new clothes that I wanted to show you guys, so let's just quit talking and show you guys. So this first piece, sorry it looks kind of wonky in the hanger right now, but it's this nice weather tech i think that's the brand let's check it out real quick but it's this nice hoodie from wear guard very, very cool piece got this off a of deep pop for like 25 to bucks i think as you see it has a quarter zip some nice m a uh, nice emblem right there you can focus and it has some cool distressing throughout this is something i'm going to be wearing a lot because it is fall and and winter's also coming up i do need to get some more outerwear pieces because my collection right now is kind of dull so I need to get more stuff but this is the only outerwear piece I got which sucks but on to the next one this might be the favorite pickup that I have it's this Gap Thermal I really like stripes if you couldn't tell I'm wearing stuff with stripes right now but this is nice green and gray Thermal from Gap here's the tag I don't know if this is vintage or not. I'm not gonna say it is or not, but this is a very cool piece. It fits me very well. I just like the way it looks. And then the next one, oh, by the way, if I sound sick, it's because I was sick about a week ago and I'm still trying to get better, but this one was supposed to be in the last recent pickups. If it was, my bad, I didn't look, look it through, but this is also another one of my favorite pieces. It's on this original trademark tag. It's another thermal. If you know me, I love thermals. So, just has two buttons, very, very cool piece. It's cropped to perfection, the sleeves are amazing, and it's just a cool overall piece to wear, especially with layering and stuff like that. The next one, a, a little out of my comfort zone. I found this, I think I wanna say at the bins for like two bucks or something, and I knew I had to get it just cause, you know, I see the aesthetic or whatever you wanna call it on TikTok and Instagram and stuff like that, and I was like, let me try something new. So it's a striped, again, I love stripes, polo right here it's on a faded glory tag it's a uh, size large i want to say size medium but it fits me very well and it's a cool piece i can't wait to layer it and use it for different kind of things in the fall and winter time but definitely during the spring you're going to see this a lot more but it's a very very cool piece out of my comfort zone right here's another one nothing too crazy just a black polo had it i was interviewing for a job didn't get it or did it? I got the job, but then I didn't want to do the job, so I quit. That does not sound good. I don't know why I said that, but I had to get this. It's just a cool black polo. I mean, I could wear it whenever. I could wear it formal, unformally, whatever you want to call it. Nothing too much to it. Next, we're going to get into the t-shirts. This is something I'm still improving on. My t-shirt collection is not where I want it to be. I need to buy more pieces, more things I actually like. But this one... My brother was out shopping, he saw this, I told him to snag it. This is just a funny, funny t-shirt. It has the Apple logo and it just says Genius on it. it. Has no tag, it fits like a size large. All this, they're just basic cool piece that I can wear around the house and stuff like that. This one probably is my favorite shirt that I've gotten. My brother, that day he was shopping, like I just said, he saw this. I didn't see it in the pictures he sent me until after he got home. So the next day I went and grabbed it. It's this nice Rolling Stones t-shirt. I believe it, this is from 2004, that's what it says. So it's not 60s, 70s, which would be a lot cooler, but it's, it has no tag, but they tagged it as a large. It fits more like a medium. It's still a very cool piece. The distressing on the, or the cracking on the screen print is awesome. And for a 20 year old t-shirt, it's very, very nice. And it is, oh, it is double stitch. I didn't even check that. This one, Loki got played on. I thought I was buying a nine inch nails, like vintage t-shirt, but it was this custom one that this dude made from Depop. And that's where most of these came from were Depop. It's still a cool t-shirt, but it's not what I thought it was. And it has this nice acid wash to it. And then I don't know what it says right there, but I know for a fact nine inch nails was not using this kind of tag when they were touring, touring and stuff. So cool t-shirt, but not exactly what I thought it was. This next one right here, this one's a cool one. I haven't worn it much. I actually haven't worn it at all. This is something I'll probably wear more in the spring and summer. <coughs> Excuse me, of next year. Still could wear it in the fall and winter, but 
colors. I like to keep my colors neutral in the fall and winter, but just no boundaries. Uh, keep talking. I like watching your lips move. Very, very funny t-shirt. I like the t-shirts that say random things that are funny. Here's a no boundaries tag. Very, very cool piece. Nice green. It fits very nice. Except if I, I'm going to keep hitting the gym, I'm going to grow out of this soon, but chill on that, chill on that, but very, very cool t-shirt, something I'm definitely going to wear a bunch when I get the chance to, when I want to wear color, because I'm not much of a dude that likes to wear color, but that's all the upper wear stuff. This pickups list isn't the best, but we'll do what we can. This next one, we got a pair of pants. My friend just outright gave these to me for free. These nice Wrangler pants, blue wash. Very simple, the straight leg, he says he doesn't like straight leg and stuff like that. So I was like, you know, I'll, I'll take them because I do wear straight leg pants. But one thing that's very nice about them is a heel bite. Here's one side of it that is very, very nice. I'm gonna continue to add to that. And then here's the other side, worn out. Love when pants have good heel bite. And it's just a nice pair of Wrangler blue denim. Can't have too much blue denim. I do need to get more darker denim. So again, I'm gonna re-up soon. I'm about to go shopping online. I don't know why I say I'm like, I'm gonna go out. But I'm gonna start looking for new clothes. I got some more money, so I'm willing to spend now. This next one is a pair of my favorite silhouette of pants, Levi's 569s. And this nice black, uh, blackish gray colorway. They're tagged at 636, so they're a bit baggy on me, but they're just, they fit so well. And the silhouette of 569 is probably the best pair of pants, <laughs> or at least top two for me, the way they fit. No heel by yet, haven't worn them enough, but as you can see, it's starting to happen. Looks like some doo-doo stain right there, but, and then some distressing starting right there. So soon, soon, the more I wear them, the more stains they got, but, this is an immaculate pair of pants. Probably my top three in my wardrobe and I just got them like two weeks ago. So very, very nice. But that's gonna do it for all the clothes. Maybe I have random clips to throw in here. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing and stuff like that, but that's it for the clothes. I did just go shopping and got some books that I really wanted to show you guys, especially with, I don't know, I just like to read. So I, I thought incorporating books stuff into my youtube videos would be cool but this first one is called for the wolf this is a book i've been eyeing for a while now definitely on my it's been on my tbr for a while just got it it's gonna be a fun read hopefully read this in the next month or so here's another one that i've been eyeing too it's called the darkness before them very very cool cover the thing that sucked is they, this was the only book they had in stock and it ripped right there so that sucks but another one i've been eyeing for a while Glad that I got it. Those are two fantasy books, if you guys didn't know. And then I had I have been wanting to get into some classics. So the first classic I'm gonna show is The Picture of Dorian Gray. Very, very good book. I've heard a lot of great things about this and I'm very excited to read it. And then the, the book that I'm gonna start reading uh, is The Strain Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and Other Tales of Tor Terror. Another classic, again, I've, this is perfect timing as fall, Halloween's rolling around. These are gonna be fun books to read. And if you want reviews on these books, let me know in the comments because I'm, I will be willing to do that. I will want to incorporate a lot of fashion books and like music into my uh, YouTube videos. And I think I'm back for good now. I'm gonna constantly post, hopefully every other week or every two to three times a month. But the next one, the one I'm most stoked for especially, when October hits, is Dracula by Bram Stoker on this nice cover. Oh, it already bent right there, that sucks. A limited edition book. Very, very cool cover. Heard, again, this is like one of the best books ever created that I've heard, so it's gonna be a fun, uh, fun couple of months of reading. So if you guys want to see that, maybe I'll just transition into a book talk, uh, YouTuber, not talker, because this is not TikTok. But that's gonna do it for today. If you guys stayed through the whole way, make sure you guys leave a comment, subscribe, and like the video. But thank you. I will be back soon, hopefully. And I'll see you guys in the next one. But thank you so much for watching. And that's all I got. Peace.